Welcome to Ave Maria School of Law and our Sports Law Sports Marketing Program. My name is Professor Peter Carvagna. It's great to make your acquaintance this way. I welcome you to our Sports Law uh, Program. We offer three courses here. Uh, let me just start with the introductory course, which you can take online during the summer. Uh, it's a short course, one week. You can learn everything you need to know about basically the legal evolution of America's three major leagues. That's the title of the course. It's a collective bargaining agreement course. It's the union and the owners, uh, the relationships among and between the, the leagues and the players and the teams. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful short course. Uh, you learn everything you need to know about Deflate Gate, Bounty Gate, all the scandals you might have read about, uh, Ray Rice and Adrian Peterson, those kinds of things we, we study and understand how they get resolved, the way they get resolved, both within the final binding arbitration mechanisms that the leagues have set up and also when they involve the court systems as, as we see with the flight gate. It's still on appeal as we make this video. The other course is then you go to intermediate advanced sports law that we offer here, again over six weeks uh, in the spring term. Uh, that's representing professional athletes more specifically. Uh, that's a, a party and counterparty uh, to a representation agreement, product endorsement agreement, a publicity rights agreement. Uh, we look across the spectrum, the beginning, middle, end of a professional athlete's career. We look more at golf and tennis there, the individual sports, even though we touch on the team sports, NFL uh, in particular. Advanced contract drafting, it sort of transcends sports, although it's about sports, it's the ownership side of a sports venue. So. It's a party, counterparty, clinical negotiation and drafting course like the others really are as well. And but we welcome the students to be the owner of a sports venue and negotiate and draft. Tonight we'll be doing a lease agreement for a stadium. Then we'll do a naming rights agreement. And, and we'll do party, counterparty, negotiating and drafting of uh, sponsorship agreements for a sports venue and uh, non-traditional revenue agreements for a sports venue like a concert, holding a concert at a sports venue. So you represent an owner of a sports venue and then the counterparty is the city or the naming rights uh, sponsor. So that, that's our complement of three courses that we offer. That, that's our smorgasbord approach. If you can only take the summer course, that's great. Uh, we'll reach you remotely and be happy to uh, welcome you to that course and then the others during the spring term uh, and you get a certificate of sports law from Ave Maria the School of Law which hopefully will pr propel you into a career. Uh, now no reps, no warranties as far as that goes. Uh, it, it's a very difficult industry to break into but you'll have the basic skill set uh, if and when that opportunity presents itself. But I always say go be a good lawyer first and if sports law and sports marketing happens to happen for you you'll have the skills available to you from having taken this compliment. Thank you for your attention.